Hello people, how are you all doing? Jace Volume here and welcome to part 4 of Jack 2 for the Sony PlayStation 3. The HD collection, yeah, it's been a while. I've been busy doing some other stuff, trying to figure out how to do deal with, with this mic that I had for a while. Found it, it's going to be using it for the new recording, so please tell me how the quality is with this mic right now. So I kind of set it up a bit more different. I just have to. Now we're trying to go in and get the blaster mod, which is right in here. Yeah, it's very easy to just go and switch, just to hit the directional button, that's it. So, when you hit, kick it, like, press the circle, then press R1, just like that. You're going to have to uh, do the gun course anyway, because it will not continue on until you finish the gun course, so might as well just do it right now. 4,000 so it will be easy. This is for a long range. Like if you remember from the first game, the yellow eco, that's what this gun represents. God damn it. Come on. Ah, oh, come on, I missed it. Oh my, oh, come on. This is, this is a lot harder than it is. It's more difficult than it looks. Come on, come on, no, no, no! Oh! Come on! All of these... Come on! No, 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 no! Oh, damn! This is getting a bit more too intense! Oh shit. Oh, 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 I missed this now! Ah! Oof. Come on. Ah, come on! Oh, come on! Bullshit. Hate it when it does that. No, no, oh, come on, missed. Oh, come on. Oh, I just missed three goals. Bullshit. I needed that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get the bronze at all. I'll be lucky if I did. No, no. Get out. Oh, ass bitch. Oh, come no, no, no. Ooh, no. Yeah. Ow. Missed it. Ow. Mm. I hate it with this one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Ah. Oh, never mind. I probably might. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, come on! One more dummy would have been more than enough. It's like, I th I think the farthest I went into that one is uh, gold. Nope, nope, not gold. I, what am I saying? The farthest I probably went is like a, either a bronze or a silver. Maybe I was close to a... Yeah, I was close to the gold, but yet uh, I, it wasn't enough. In order to get a goal in those things, you have to like memorize every single one of those, uh, those targets. If you, you're not going to get if you miss any or shoot one of the civilians. I have a proposition for you, Jack. Racing is the biggest sport in the city. Errol is the undisputed grand champion. He's crazy and dangerous on the track. <laughs> My kind of guy. Only a fool would dare race against him, eh? And that's where you two come in. A client of mine is looking for a fast driver for her racing team. Here's a security pass to get you into the stadium section. 
Uh, and your contract with just a few trifles for me. <laughs> I've uh, already signed your name to save time. We the racers hereby agree to give crew all proceeds from race earnings, endorsement fees, broadcast royalties, syndication residuals, vehicle sponsorships, small appearance fees, collectible card assets, fast food tie-ins, use of likeness rights, talk show deals, clothing lines, all print rights, including book, novella, comic, pamphlet, ticket tape, neon sign, and bathroom graffiti designs. <sighs> Toy rights, shoe lines, mood rings, game rights. Game rights? Vitamin endorsements, city kickback, movie deals, and of course, all death and dismemberment accident insurance claims. <laughs> we can work out the tiny details later. If you can get from here to the race garage near the stadium in less than three minutes, my client said she would consider letting you drive for her team. Make me proud, hmm? <laughs> I've always loved that cutscene, like how fast that's the right. And also, it's really moving thing in game rights. Game rights! Freaking. Freaking broke the fourth wall right there, because this is a game right over here. We're playing game rights? What are you talking about? We're doing a game right now! Which I will not lie, that was actually pretty funny. So now, all I have to do over here is to get all the way to the north end of the city within three minutes which luckily I've managed to get through it in like a minute and a half or probably not a minute and a half but pretty close so I'm gonna have to drive quick if you get, hit any of these civilians or actually hit a wall it slowed you down dramatically so I'm actually doing very well right now not getting hit once oh yeah I'm definitely gonna be doing pretty well so if you have bad controls, with a, but, be, no, no, I'm not planning to get hit. If you get hit, your vehicle get damaged and it slows, it slows it. I'm not gonna risk that whatsoever. Yeah, I think I'll get there with like a minute left to spare. About, luckily. Damn, I'm doing really good. I didn't even get hit once. I, I didn't even hit anything once. And then I probably said it, and I'm gonna hit something. Oh yeah, I'm him. okay. I'm trying to get through. It's like uh, the first time when I try and do this based on memory, like first time I ever played this mission, I've died. Well, not died. I failed about two. Yep, I just jinxed myself about that. I failed about uh, ten times. It's like I did not know how to c control these vehicles at all back then, and now I still kind of don't. But hey, if you guys see this, I'm gonna go into the comments and please tell me, like, how is your uh, first, um, uh, if you remember your first attempt or first tries trying to beat this game? Because I'm really curious into finding out how you guys felt if you actually ever played this game. Just, ugh. But luckily, we'll be able to make it in there with about 30 seconds left to spare pretty soon, so I say, I, I oh no, no, no! Yep. Nice. Uh, hello? Crew said someone was looking for a race driver? I'm busy right now. You must be Crew's new errand boy. Look, I don't mean to be rude. You did get here fast, but I'm not interested in any new drivers right now. And I've got work to do. Is there anything we can do? No! I'm, uh, working on a secret, uh, uh, vehicle project. Okay, sorry. Listen, if you think you've got the guts to race in this town, try taking my prototype jet board out on the stadium course. Beat the stadium challenge, and maybe I'll consider you for my team. I am not going to spoil anything about who's behind that curtain, because... If you know the first game, you should have already known who it is, and I think I just kind of spoiled it just when I say the first game. So, usually I can... Get, come on. Are you guys even gonna... There we go. I hit it out that you have to punch it and damage it in order to drive this thing through. Why? Because I feel too lazy to go and grab another vehicle later. Oh well. Now I have to go into the stadium and get it myself a jet board. And it's right there. I've actually managed to get gold on the jet board. It was hard though, but it was entertaining. It was fun. 
now just a little tutorial of how to work. come in here, drive this thing around, ride it around. Okay, so. Yeah! Next grinding! Let's go! Ay, 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 ay. Yeah! Tony Hawk status right here. Back, flip, and just random woo. Yeah. All right, I'm go. I'm actually going to try and attempt doing it. Come on, oh, no, damn it! Ooh. I'm going to try and attempt getting a gold. You could just try getting those yellow spears, which only increases by Ooh, already got a bronze and I fell come on come on give me a little speed boost come on ah come on stupid come on no 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 ah come on oh yeah I'm yeah I'm probably not gonna get a Gold, but I may. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, come on! I, I would have gotten the gold by now if I've done it perfect. Just by doing these will actually get you a lot of good points. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! Silver, come on! Come on! I could just go into the... You know what? Should I try going for gold or just go into the... You know, yeah, just forget it. I'm just gonna go and continue on out. I almost got on the goal though, that close. If I did not not fall off of that thing just a couple times, like one or two times, I would have been able to. Damn. So close too. So close. Just a couple more tricks would have been enough. Oh well. So since this return, this jet board cannot be using it until later on in the game, which I'm not going to spoil whatsoever. No, 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 up! Oh. I, I, I ain't going to be running anyone's ass over here, running over anyone's ass over here. But, but, uh, ah. Now I can go back in here and talk to the lady in the curtains. We beat the stadium challenge. Great. People do get lucky. Listen. Don't you have someone to collect money from, or beat up, or something? You don't like us, do you? You work for that slime ball crew. What's not to like? Looks like you've won a few races. Isn't it true the city champion gets to tour the palace? Yeah. Why? Could you get me into the palace? A friendly visit, I gather. Yeah. I'm a real fan of the Baron. Okay. I'll help you out if you stop bothering me. I saw an old maintenance elevator at the base of one of the palace support towers. That old lift might take you up to the palace if you can find a way to turn on the elevator's power. During the cutscene, I just saw a warning high CPU usage and throughout the entire gameplay through, I did not really see a warning like that at all, but it happens in the cutscene. What? Just what? Well... I would just do some of the side missions right now, but I was, I'm gonna be like, nah, there's no need. So, might as well just go all the way back and talk to Torn right now, since Torn's like the next closest area through the year. Uh, where I am, so. Oh, oh! Uh. I meant to do that. I really meant to do that, people. Really meant to do that. Well. Talking about whacking her now. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, I'm just gonna stop. No, just, I'm gonna stop. Get, get out of my way. 
Ugh. Again, love the game. Annoying section, some of it, but love the game. Good thing I did not even die this many times, though, surprisingly. But, uh, oh, well. Uh, nah, I don't even know what to say anymore to you. I'm sorry, it's like I have no idea why I don't really talk that much since there's really nothing really much for me to talk about. But I think I'll continue talking later. One of the Baron's mining operations is under attack by the metalheads. That's not our problem. It is our problem when the foreman's one of the underground's best informants. His name is Finn and he's just valuable enough to save. Find the warp gate at the power station and use it to travel to the strip mine so you can rescue Vin's pathetic hide. Hey, tattooed wonder, how come we get all the crappy missions? Because I don't like you. Fair enough. Whatever deal the Baron made with the metalheads, the city's ego is almost gone and his time is running out. If we don't get the kid back on the throne soon, there may not be a city left to defend. Alright guys, so now I have to go into the strip mine, which is a very metalhead infested area. And I just gotten spark crash into air. I just crashed into air, seeing that. But, oh well. So, pretty much, but when I remember one thing, when I went into the uh, whole, uh, first time going through that what I was like lost like wait where is the door but then I realized there was like a little elevation thing to go walk right on like the things on top of us is actually the right way to get there I was like always stuck like wait where is the door turns out it was like up another up the floor like what the hell I was stuck in like 20 minutes because of that I was like really that dumb So, very electrical. See this? Many buttons. This is a huge upgrade over touchscreen. Buttons. Alright, let's just go into the warp gate. Alright then. So, it's sunlight. Time to fight off against all these metalheads. Scorpion metalheads. So, like, fat metalheads. Get out. Get out, get out. Time for the wasteland to move. Yep, and... Haha. -ha. Oh. Come on, come on. No, 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 shoot. Ah, oh, you shot me. In the PS2 version, I was like crazy enough to... What did I try doing? Sorry, I was getting a bit too loud in my head. One thing that I've been, tr I always try to do in the PS2, which maybe break the game, like it just completely froze, and it didn't even start working anymore. Was I put all the metal heads together and I made a giant dark bomb. The game just stopped. Yeah, there's still a lot of these. Uh, Oh, man. I know there's more. I'm trying to get them, but still I don't have to deal with them up earlier. But later on in the mission, I don't have to deal with those good things. Get out. Did I work? Nope, he's still alive. You're out, and you're next. Come on! Are you even going to move, you stupid crate? There we go. So I'm guessing that's all of them right now, so it'll be a lot more easier. Still, 200 skull gems from the last part is a bit too much. Which is why it's one thing that I've always liked doing in, like, um, hero modes. Whenever you kill the metalheads and then you die, the you still get the skull gems that you had before, but the skull gems from the metalheads, they come back. Which means you can have an endless supply of skull gems to get like all your dark powers like in an instant from the beginning of the game. It'll be very time consuming, but it works. 
it works, surprisingly. So right now, just sit down to fight off these guys. Get out of here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just going to be doing that Wastelander move all the time. Makes it faster. Get out of here. And get out! Ah. You guys ain't gonna... Why do I feel like there's another... Yep, there is. Trying to follow me? Really? Oh, no, 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 no. I was actually afraid to actually fall off. Because there's no telling. I was afraid to fall off of that thing and start all over. I'm like, no, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Huh. Okay. Got it. Ah! Get out of here! Alright then. Almost done with this mission. There we go. But yeah, dude, throughout all the missions I've actually been through right now, tell me like what is the for you guys if you have ever beaten the game or if you're currently playing the game, what is like the hardest mission for you thus far in this entire game? If you, if you want to do that, please leave it in the comments. I would love to see like people's like reaction or just their own opinion. I would like to hear your what you guys have to say about this. And how's the quality for the mic that I'm using right now, the PlayStation that camera like the ps3 it's like for me it actually sounded better when i'm trying to test this thing out on the uh, pc like it was better than the headset that i was using like for the headset so to don't start the cutscene oh i thought i just got it too oh i missed it Stay back. Look, if we were here to kill you, you wouldn't be talking right now. Oh, friendless? Oh, thank goodness. What? So, what? Where's the army? Uh, where it? What? Just you two? What do they think I'm worth? I'm beginning to wonder that myself. If you want, you can stay here and be metal meat. But Daxter and I are leaving before those monsters get back. Vin is actually a pretty good character over here. Like he's he's crazy in his head, but yeah, it's funny. So Hey, I wanna thank you guys for saving my butt out there at the strip mine. And we'd like to thank you for being such a bad shot. Oh yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I'm a bit jumpy these days. Jumpy? We hadn't noticed. Ah! A metal head behind you! Ah! What the who the what's <laughs> Just kidding. Nice reaction time, though. Not funny! Those metalheads have been attacking our mining operations, and we're running out of eco. Eco power keeps the city shield walls up, and if the shield drops, well, we can all kiss our butts goodbye! I've got a few surprises for those metalheads. <laughs> You've got to keep the shield walls up until the shadow figures out what to do. My readings show a drop in eco flow at the drill platform. Probably some metalhead egg sucking away power. So use the warp gate to go to the platform and destroy every metalhead egg you can find. That was that was some good reaction time though. So yep, that pretty much is gonna be ending the video off right here. So if you like, please hit like. If you want to comment, please comment. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And I will talk to you all later. Ciao. Shut up, Chris. You go.